What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and you saw it in the thumbnail, but before we get started, before you check out, make sure you check out these codes, save you some extra money. All right, so let's get right to the scatter. So like I said, links down in the description below, but here it is, the title is from Team Corrali. It's their Scatter XP 110 scale four wheel drive 4S, brushless, it's a ready to run, monster truck, no battery or charger, I'll give you some recommendations as far as battery goes, at least on that part of it. Um, this thing's going to be a powerhouse. It's going to want, it's going to be wanting some juice. So I would say at least a hundred C discharge battery. Really, that's going to be. People are asking like, hey, what should I get? And for this type of vehicle, hundred C discharge really would be nice, and at least a five thousand milliamp uh, battery. You can run it on three S. You can run it on four S. Four S being the max. And it's going to have an XT90 plug. So if you are kind of looking for a battery, those would be the things I would really recommend you start looking at. All right. Now, as far as when it comes to the vehicle itself, paint scheme looks awesome. These things are shipping already. So these aren't like pre-orders. These are your order. We're getting them shipped out to you. So keep that in mind. Um, you can break this thing up and we use Klarna. It's one of our payment options. So you can break this thing into four, as it shows here, four interest-free payments. And uh, yeah, you can read a little bit more that has more here, learn more. Just kind of let you guys know in regards to that one. But uh, nice front bumper. It's got the skid plate going on. Wheel choice, so much better than the Kronos when it comes to that one. I like these rims, these tire selection. It's nice looking. That front profile, it's nice and aggressive on it. Looks like almost like LED light bar. It's got a hood scoop kind of towards the rear of it. None of that stuff's functional. It's just, you know, faux stuff as far as that one uh back of it it's got the wheelie bar here it is adjustable as you can kind of see here um but it looks good even like you have the tethered i know it's kind of hard to see some of these pictures here with it being blown up but you can see it here tethered body clips so it does rock the body clip still but again it's all good and we got velcro straps kind of see that a little bit better there's our xt90 plug our electronic speed controller our motor Got our servo. It's got aluminum servo horn. So that's mounted to it. They've done a lot of stuff to this. And let's get... Well, you can see it here too, our on and off power switch. Velcro straps. So Velcro strap is kind of like my universal way. Uh, nice. It's nice way to uh, mount different bodies of different... Or different batteries of different sizes. So that is nice. I don't like the bar. So you guys, uh, if you like that, the bar... You kind of like stuck between either it's a little bit smaller or just fits right. These you can always get bigger Velcro straps for these things, man. If you want to go with a higher milliamp battery and get a little bit more runtime, just the only thing I'd recommend too is just frequently check that motor, make sure that it's running cool and it's not too hot. Uh, if anything, always get a motor fan. If you do get a motor fan, motor fan cooler would be get an aluminum one. Don't get a you know I, I don't ever buy the plastic ones. It's just kind of pointless because it doesn't, ex it'll, the fan will try to cool down the motor, but it doesn't have any other way of wicking away that heat other than just air blowing on it, where at least the aluminum ones can pull away some of that heat off that motor. Obviously, that's the best alternative, the best choice. Um, Team Corrali even just let me know when I was starting to do this video that I posted on my Instagram was the previous remote. And I know it's again, but this is the radio as of now. So this is the one you're going to get in your box if you order one of these. So this one here, four AA batteries. I don't, I've never owned one of these as far as this radio goes. Can't imagine it being any bad uh, because I've had the other ones and they seem to be fine as far as range on them. So you guys, if, once you get one of these, let us know, you know, how you like it. But other than that, man, yeah, that would be the radio it comes with. And I got to give you a side profile of this thing. Look at this. This thing is beefy, man. So adjustable here. Got that skid plate even for the rear of it. Man, we got that whole chassis brace going on here. I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, well, so-and-so already has that before. Okay. Congratulations. But as far as like on this one here, Team Crowley, now they have that upper brace. It's got even just the lower braces that are mounted to the chassis itself. There's aluminum motor mount. It even has aluminum center differential now this whole drivetrain there's no plastic in here so this thing's got metal so metal differential metal front and rear differentials there so as far as the suspension call it pivot ball pillow ball i've heard of different 
Uh, some people say one thing and they're like, hey, you said it wrong. I'm like, no, look in the description. Some of them say pivot ball, some others say pillow ball, whatever the manufacturer wants to go with. 25 kilogram servo. Uh, this thing is definitely kicking up some, it's 4S, man. It's going to have lots of juice to it. So let's go ahead and we can scroll down. Well, let's show you some other ones. Maybe we can kind of see it a little bit in here also. Not really. I was going to show you as far as there's one picture here. Oh, the servo horn. There you go. Servo horn. It's a 25 kilogram, like I already said. Now, as far as when it comes to adjustments, there isn't any adjustability when it comes to here, like as far as your tie rods that are normally, some of them are going to be adjustable. To, personally, you're bashing. I want them to be just solid. I don't have to adjust anything. That's kind of nice in my personal opinion. Unless you're, this would be something if it was racing or whatever, you want to tow in, tow out, or whatever it may be. In this case here, you know, you could always get those, but I mean, this one has just the plastic and hey, it's cool. There's like your servo saver right there so you can adjust that tension for that spring, what have you. But you can see the way they have that design. This looks like it's all aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, when it comes to yeah, getting that chassis, um, so the, the motor itself, we got it, where is it, uh, let me scroll down to the bottom here, I think it's a 20, yeah, a 2150 KV motor, four pole brushless motor, sensorless, you know, you don't need a sensor on, as far as a basher, um, but yeah, man, this thing is looking good, okay, so this thing can run on 2S to 4S, my mistake if, if that was it, there's your speeds, 50 plus miles an hour, that would be on your 4S LiPo battery, so pretty awesome, there you go, there's your 25 kilogram servo lots of man this thing's got a lot of a lot of stuff going on as far as all of this stuff that um aluminum this big bore that yeah it's got quite a bit so you guys can read up on all that i just want to let you guys know hey man this thing is in stock check it out like i said check it out at your own leisure read up on it lunchtime whatever you get home take a look at all of it but I want to kind of let you guys know, like, hey, I've had people ask me about this thing. Like, hey, when's it coming out? I'm like, I don't know. I thought I was just asking, talking to one of my other um, followers. And he's like, hey, when's this thing coming out? It's all out in China or such. And I was like, I don't know. I was told like it's going to be still months out. And then lo and behold, hey, psh, we're still in January. And it came out. So I was like, okay, that was that's cool. So there you go, guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave those comments below. Let me know what you guys think about this, what we can do to do better. But until next time, you guys take care. Have a great day. Peace.